Hello everyone. Well, I've only got half an hour to shoot this video. So let's begin. Okay, um I had some trouble trying to find the app for the Zhiyun Molus X100. I searched their website and couldn't find instructions on where to download the app or how to install it, how to use it, etc. etc. So yeah. I thought you guys would find it useful um, if I made a video to basically tell you how to get it installed uh, you know get everything working all right if you can see I'm not sure if you can see it on my phone I'll do some screenshots later the app for the Ziyun uh, X100 is actually called ZY Vega okay this is the app okay and this is how it looks like once you get it installed. Okay, so it should say uh, Molus uh, what? Molus X hundred something something something. Okay, uh, the number changes uh, as soon as you reset the Bluetooth. Okay, so the app. Okay. Okay, so everything works fine. All right. Step one, you should go to Ziyun's website and uh, get the firmware update done. The only thing you will need is a USB cable. USB A, well, depends on your machine to USB-C this end can, goes to the X100 this end goes to your PC you can actually update using the app um, but I do, wouldn't recommend it because I feel that this should be a more stable way to do it okay so first go to download under the X100 page from there you can actually see that there are actually three items here that you can use for firmware and upgrade tool okay this is Chinese translation so it's to be expected first thing to do is if you are using a Windows machine go to Ziyun USB drive click on that download and install okay after that you will need to download the Ziyun calibration upgrade tool okay the calibration upgrade tool uh, as of today which is uh, 3rd of April 2023 is version 1.01 .01. so download the version that suits your PC or Mac thirdly you need to download the firmware update firmware update as of today is version 1.7.8 it doesn't really tell you what updates they are but I'm sure there are some important updates okay so here we go first you will need to install the USB drive software after that uh, you need to extract the calibration or upgrade tool actually it's called LED tool let me show you how it looks like it's called PTZ or PTZ LED EXE for PC so once you have this open it will say Ziyun LED 2 version 1.01 .01. okay once you have that and you have the uh, firmware also unpacked which is going to be called firmware.ptz if you want to make sure that you got the right version look at the change log you should say PL105 firmware 1.78 okay you got that note where you have uh, got it extracted out make sure you unzip it next you will need to connect your X100 to your PC 
assuming you're using a PC. Okay, the port to use, this is the one for charging actually. So if you can see, the one that says USB-C, connect it. Once you have connected it, like so, go back to your so you an LED tool and take a look. You should be able to see COM3. Okay. And what you do is you click open. And then the product will display as Molus X100. Under firmware upgrade, there's a path. Click on browse. Select on uh, the location where you have actually uh, unzipped the firmware, the 1.7.8. Select the firmware.ptz software uh, file, press open. And after that, do not do anything else except click on upgrade. Important thing is once you click on upgrade, your, it will transfer the file over to your X100 and then it, USB will disconnect. Do not worry about that. It will take some time to upgrade. Once it is, it is done, it will reconnect and you should be able to see that COM3 is open again. Only after that, you should pull out the cable. Remember, do not pull out the USB cable until the upgrade is completed. It takes about 3 minutes, maybe 5 minutes. Be patient. Once it is done, then you can verify that you have the uh, firmware installed, everything's working by simply pulling out the USB cable. Okay. Connect your battery or uh, AC to DC adapter. Just make sure that you can still switch it on. Okay. There you go. All right. It works. Once you have verified that it works, what you need to do is press the power button this button three times to reset the Bluetooth once you have done that then uh, we can start installing or testing the app all right let's up how do you find the app all right uh, you go to Ziyun's website again, ziyuntech.com Look for the download button on top on the navigation bar on top Load the page up and you will find that yeah, they are very proud about their gimbals obviously Now you can see that there's on the right you should have resource download for the various apps that uh, Ziyun has made there's one particular app that they don't tell you what it is for. It's actually the ZY Vega. Okay? In true Chinese company style, you have QR code. So what do you do? Get your phone. Get your QR code reader. Right. And then go to the side. Okay? It will prompt you to download this software okay download and install it after you have downloaded and installed the app open the app This is the screen that you see initially. You say set, uh, default set or something like that. I've already deleted the default set. So you press on the plus here. And then you just say customize set, um, whatever color you like. Let's say purple. Okay. So now we have a customized set. Okay. So under customize set, press plus. There you should see. 9473 for mine. Click on that. Add. Adding device. Okay, done. And there. Oh, it tends to do that. 
It tends to like to disconnect for the f on the first time. All right, now it's connected. You see. All right. So I can control it from here. Okay, that's it. It's done.